Hi, welcome to um, Freshy Canal's YouTube channel. Here we, we make rap battles, which you will enjoy. If you like characters engaging in battles, which are also raps, you have come to the right place. Subscribe, guys. <laughs> Freshy Canal fans, welcome to another edition of Lyrics with Felix. I'm going to be going through the lyrics for Sweeney Todd versus Patrick Bateman. Of course, not all of them because that'll take a whole fucking day. It could be a, a, a completely new video in its entirety. Um, but just uh, some of the, I think the more significant lyrics, some of my favourites, and I, I wrote them, so maybe I'm a little bit biased, and maybe this whole segment is going to be me uh, sucking my own. Dick. Now, why did you why did you censor that? That was, I just said patting my own back, it wasn't weird. There's a hole in the world and a fake Brad Pitt putting holes in her girls, leave them slain and split, cause there's holes in his brain that no payment can fix and he goes by the name of Bateman. It's obviously a reference to the second song in the Sweeney Todd musical. It's the first song in the Tim Burton movie because they get rid of the opening song. He's, he's describing the city of London. Obviously, I, I, I've taken the lyrics and I've kind of made it made him describe Patrick Bateman instead. That's why it kind of doesn't rhyme, the fourth bar, and he goes by the name of Bateman because that's, that's copying the song where the kind of the fourth line in the song it doesn't rhyme and he just says it goes by the name of london it's not because i thought that that payment can fix and bateman rhymed i'm not that silly i would never ever do a rhyme that bad anyway next thing i want to talk about is probably my favorite line in the whole battle yeah no okay you can stop that oh, yeah wow yeah Thank you. <laughs> this oaf of a broker couldn't sell his persona, only see this banker compensating when work's over. His job is pretty unclear in the movie, Patrick Bateman's, um, but he, he he works with money. Uh, he can't even sell his persona, everyone thinks he's a loser. Paul Allen keeps confusing him for somebody else because he's so unremarkable. He wants to be this big macho chad. But he can't. C because he's not. Only see this banker compensating when work's over. It, again, it kind of delves into that persona. He is he's compensating for something that he's not, for, for what he lacks. Banker. A, a banker is kind of like his job, uh, and they, they deal with compensation, giving money, taking money. Also, he's got a tiny penis. Yeah, <laughs> I said it. Innocent, but spent half your life in jail. I'm not behind a cell, because I got bail. Christian Bale played um, Patrick Bateman in the American Psycho movie. Fun fact as well, the American Psycho musical, he was played by Matt Smith, who played the, the 11th Doctor. So both times that Patrick Bateman has been adapted, um, he has been played by a British guy, which is funny for a, for a movie and a show called American Psycho. And then once again in a fresh canal rap battle, he's played by me, who is not American. Which is a, a really embarrassing fact that I don't like people <laughs> Another thing about just the lyrical structure of this battle, um, I had some help from my pal Lawless Marshall, who you may know as Edgar Wright. He helped kind of with the with the whole structure, with the story side of the battle. Obviously, you can tell there's it's kind of a little bit story based. Things happen. He's a big Sweeney Todd fan, a, a lot more than I am. I'm a, I'm kind of a big American Psycho fan, but he helped with the whole. Sweeney part of the battle and he was like you have to have this happen you have to follow the story beats of the musical where spoiler alert Sweeney kills his wife and then finds out his wife is still alive and Miss Lovett knew about it and then he kills Miss Lovett thanks for watching everyone my name is Little Flex and this has been Lyrics with Felix okay, fuck off fuck off <laughs> I swear to God. This is the unseen side of these guys that were rapping, you know, they, they call this... each other all these names and then they're actually quite nice to each other. You smell like a coconut. It smells delicious. You'd make a good Santa Claus. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Do not laugh challenge. Extreme. <laughs> Ho 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 ho! Patrick Bateman edition. Mr. Bateman, what, what do you say about my business card? It's very nice. 
What is it? Oh, show a bar. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I've got to return some videotapes. My name is uh, Spinny Todd. Um, I'm currently uh, having my daily makeup routine done. Um, Bateman likes to think that he's the only one with a good skincare routine, but um, I actually um, spend most of my time sort of shaving and working with uh, people with receding hairlines. So that's why this video is sponsored by Keeps. <laughs> mm, what you doing? My name is Felix. Welcome to Jackass. Oh my god, you sound exactly like the Mr. Bonnet voice. <laughs> oh no! I was doing that and they said it does. Oh wait. dear! Oh dear, I've made quite a mess. I cool. Well, I'm glad. Um... Is that Gandalf? <laughs> Did somebody say <laughs> Gandalf? You look like the old witch from Disney. That works. filming this with my stream setup. <laughs> I should change that, but forgive me for now. I wanted to give you a little look into the beat production. So for this one, I first thought I need one of those classic mid-tempo horror too deep type of beats. So my friend Walk sent me Bloodlust by Too Deep and I thought, you know what? These strings are perfect. It sounds like the storytelling from Sweeney Todd. Sounds very Tim Burton-esque. It also fits Patrick Bateman if I cut it down a little bit. So I used that. But then I also thought, you know what? After a while, it might get a little boring to listen to, so why not switch the beat up for the second half? So I grabbed this beat from Anyway Well and worked around a little bit with it. So I removed the main melodic instruments and then it just sounded like this. Then I found this really, really cool harmonium. Then of course, because it's a Tim Burton story, I need to add an orchestra. So I added lower brass, a higher brass, and strings. What did I add here? Oh, and some pizzicato straight sounds more dramatic <laughs> properly makes obviously all that more in the background so it's not everything in your face and then we have this chaotic part here where it gets really angry <laughs> we just really wanted to have the staccato speaking here for his like I don't know, steps to walk towards the camera and just screaming. I really wanted to create a horror movie type soundtrack. So I grabbed some samples here that I found. Some dark brass and I should remember. That kind of made it like, oh shit. Shit's gonna go down now. Then I made this piano here. That's kind of like signaling panic. You know this like old horror movie string that's always in the background? Obviously quieter in the background, but like it, it, it works all together. Then I have this huge string swell. What did I make here? Bringing the brass back so it sounds great together. 
And we have this nice old horn that sounds susp suspenseful. And it felt like, yeah, this is just right from American Psycho. It's not from American Psycho, but it felt like it was, you know what I mean? And then together... Oh. 